This is the Laird. She's a cracking boat. She's 50 feet long, cruiser stern, built by Amber Boats in 2005. She's down at Oxford Narrow Boat, so her viewings are by appointment only. She's been so well looked after. She's been part of the hire fleet since 2019, so engine regularly serviced. She's been regularly blacked. Everything's been well maintained. Anodes, if necessary, will be put on at sale as well if she needs new ones. She's perfectly good for liverboard. I lived on a 50-foot cruise stern boat for eight years and I remain happily married, so it can be done. And the layout's lovely. You'll see as we go through. The paintwork's in good condition. Good size well deck, four feet long. Gas bottles are in the forward locker there. Two 13 kilos with a changeover valve. Bench seats either side with storage underneath. There's an anchor there in the forward end of the well deck and a chain. Storage in here, that's the hose. Good solid front doors, they're glazed. And she's sort of reverse layout, you'll see what I mean as we go through. So into the bedroom, the bedroom measures 10 feet long. The bed currently measures 6 foot 2 by 3 foot 10 inches wide, but it does extend, there's no infill for the mattress. But also the baseboard is big enough to accommodate a 6 foot 9 by 4 foot 4 mattress, so it could be a really good sized double bed. Good size walk-in cupboard, stroke wardrobe there. Storage in the steps. The floor itself through the boat is laminate. She's fitted out in painted ply and oak face ply to the hull sides. Cupboard in there. And there's a really good amount of storage under the bed. There you go. See a radiator there, heating on board is an Eberspacher diesel fired central heating system to two radiators and a towel rail. Cupboards over the head end of the bed, assuming you choose to put your head at this end of the bed, in which case it would be the foot end if it was the other way around. Anyway, into the walkthrough bathroom. Quadrant shower there in the corner, vinyl lined. Nice ceramic basin set on the countertop there in the corner. Good size room this, 6 feet 4 inches long. The loo itself is a Thetford cassette. There is a spare cassette on board. And what else do you need in the bathroom, frankly? Heated towel rail there. And into the galley. This is where it's a little bit different from the standard reverse layouts. But the galley itself measures 7 feet 10 inches long. Wine rack there on the left. A couple of cupboards with a shelf over. That hob is a Country Ledger 4 burner hob. 12 volt Leck fridge with an ice box. There's the washing machine. It's a Candy Aquamatic 4 kilo. Little drawer there for kitchen trinkets. Uh, pull out cupboard there. In here, somebody on YouTube, I'm grateful for it, told me that this is called a magic corner rather than the pulley outy cupboardy thing but I'll probably stick to pulley outy cupboardy thing if you don't mind sink there the worktops in here by the way laminate russell hobbs microwave over there with a couple of drawers and under here is the oven and grill it's a midi prima thetford oven and grill with a pan drawer underneath so everything you need in the kitchen. I really love this boat, I've got to be honest. Could see myself on this one a few years ago. The saloon is next. Eight feet four inches long. There's a sort of couch on the right hand side of the screen. That does convert into a single bed. It pulls out, but to be honest, when it pulls out it's a bit close to the fire, so it's probably not to be relied on in the winter. The fire itself is an eco stove, solid fuel stove. Couple of cupboards either side of the steps here. That's got the uh, solar controller in. There are 230 watts of solar on the boat with a Victron MPPT solar controller. The TV in here, by the way, is a 32 inch Panasonic. The inverter, it's a Victron Phoenix 2000 watt inverter, and there's a Victron, Victron Centaur battery charger. Up onto the stern deck, which is huge, it's 8 feet 4 inches long. Very good social space. Bench seat across the back there. 
Here's the view from the helm. Now the engine is a Canal Line 42. It was uh, new in March 2022. So pretty new as engines go. The battery's in here. It's a 1000 amp hour lithium setup. It's fully specced Victron system. So that's a real plus. You can see the hot water tank in there. The hot water's heated by the engine and the Ebersbacher. The engine, by the way, was serviced in March just this year, 24. And let's have another walk back through. All the lights on board are LED. Two alternators, one's 110 ounce, one's 75. There are six 230 volt sockets on the boat. There's one USB point. Really lovely. The gearbox, I didn't mention that, is a PRM. Good size bathroom. It's interesting the different opinions people have on walk through bathrooms versus off corridor bathrooms, but I like the walk through ones. So there we go. Really lovely boat this this is and uh, could make somebody a lovely home. So there we go. She's an Oxford narrow boat. So I'll, I'll mention that again for fully f uh, downloadable spec. For the photographs and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboat.co.uk.